Hey folks, this is Sean McCormick here from Lightroom Blog. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a logo inside Lightroom and then getting that logo out of Lightroom so that you can use it for websites and print stuff. It's just a very, very basic look at how you can do this. I'm not a graphic designer. This is just some of the tricks and techniques that you can use on text inside Lightroom. Uh, hopefully it's of use to you and uh, see you at the end. Hi folks. In this video, we're going to look at creating a logo inside Lightroom. How we're going to do it is we're going to use the identity plate. And then what we'll do is we will export a web gallery and that will have the logo contained within it. We go to the Lightroom menu and select identity plate setup. This is in the edit menu on PC. We need to change it from the Lightroom mobile default to personalized. And we're going to use a styled text identity place. So I'm just going to type in a name as an example. If you want, you could have, say, so what we can do is now with our text, we can start off by changing the colors. So we can go for kind of a deep red there. I could make this a bit bold as well. And then I can change this part here to say, for example, to white. Oh, it's already white. So I want this one to be gray. Just choose a level of gray there. So as you can see, we've done a little bit of changing of colors. Here we can change them all to a completely different. So we change it to Arial, for example. And if we wanted, we could have this section here bold. So that's given us quite a lot of options, as you can see there, for what the text looks like. Up here, we can see it's quite small. It fits in perfectly here, but that's not what we want. We want it to be much larger. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to type in 400, which will make it huge. Now, it doesn't fit across the top, but that's okay. We're not using it for that. We are creating a file that we can resize as we need it ourselves. So we click OK, and now we go to the web module. And we can see it's massive in the web module, but that's okay because all we're going to do is click export. Uh, I'm in my, I'm in an export output gallery, which is great. So I'm just going to call this logo. So it's going to create a little page called logo. So if I go to that here, you can see logo has been created. And inside the content folder, we have this logo.png. So if I, if I bring it up there and we can see that it's 5,000 pixels wide, so it's huge. So I can actually, I could import this into Lightroom if I wanted and, and save it inside Lightroom. Or I can just put it into, say, Dropbox into a graphics folder and have it there. So that is now accessible from anywhere. And because it's quite large, it can be resized to whatever size you want it to be to use on pages, to use on websites and things like that. So that's a really quick way of creating a, a logo inside Lightroom. Now, I'm not a graphic designer. But there are lots of little hints about creating and designing stuff. But you have this inside Lightroom, so you may as well use it. Thanks for sticking with it, folks. If you did like it, do hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell to get notifications too as well. I'm trying to do these on a weekday basis, so hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.